Hello, I'm Sarah Scott. Um, it's another video for me um, because it's my stroke anniversary and one, two, three, four, five years ago. So um, it's a long time, nearly, but it seems like yesterday. Um, so this video, um, I want to talk about the things that are hard for me. So my reading and my writing. Um, so, um, I guess I'll just think about the things that I'm doing now um, first. Um, so I'm working at a school. Um, my The school that I actually went there and the school that I had my stroke at. So, um, yeah, I really like it there. Um, the people there know about my disability, so the people are really nice and friendly and understanding. Um, I'm not working there every day, but it's a start, and, um, and I'm doing things that are, because uh, I like, um, Biology, so I'm just um, helping out, um, and I'll you're just... like a lab assistant, aren't you? Yeah. Which is like a word that you find hard to say. <laughs> yeah. So I always said I'm just helping out, which it, it's <laughs> yeah, it's case, cool. but it yeah. Um, so I really like it there, and you know I need to talk a lot. Um, and there's lots of words that are really hard, but I think it's really good, and um, yeah. Yeah, you love that, don't you? But your speech has recovered quite well, so you can have a conversation with people, but I think sometimes it kind of masks some of the things that you find quite difficult, so we're going to do a couple of things just to illustrate that, which was really your idea, wasn't it? Although it's a little bit embarrassing in a way. Yes. Um, so whatever you've done, I don't know. So it's <laughs> what I prepared. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know anything about it. I know I'm going to do something, but I don't know what. Um, because actually, um, my you know, my group, my stroke group, we did um, a thing. Yeah. I and you need to read aloud some um, poems mm. and all of the other people there were really so really good like the people can read and understand and then say it and I did it and it was so hard some of the words I couldn't say or don't understand the mm. meaning of it and I was really kind of embarrassed, but it's my group, and I was like, well, I'll just need to do it. And, and it was uh, interesting. I, yeah, and I think a lot of the people didn't know how bad yeah. I actually Because looking, well, it's not bad. Yeah, I, know, but, I don't mind. Yeah, but, but everybody's aphasia is different, and that was really interesting, because you know, people's reading, writing, speech can all be affected, numbers and colours. But it was really interesting that people thought you were fine and yet you still have problems. So this is the first thing I'm going to get to give Sarah. I am not a speech therapist. I'm Sarah's mum. <laughs> uh, I have to say that first. But this is something that speech therapists use a lot. So I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to hand this to Sarah and ask her to describe it. Yeah. So you can look at it, Sarah. You recognise like, it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I, I know because I can... Yeah, okay. So can you describe okay. what's in this picture? So, it's a... It's in the... Um, Do you need some paper? Yeah. That still helps you? Yeah. It's in the kitchen. And there's two children and a mum. The children are eating some 
biscuits or cookies um, and the boy is um, um, standing um, st st in the school no not school stool but it's almost fallen over um the um the um mum is um cleaning the plates but the um The sink is, the water is so full, it's already spilling out um, and the mum doesn't know that the children are eating the um, um, cookies. Good, good. Mm -hmm. So when you first looked at that, like shortly after your stroke, you could only single words so you're explaining in full sentences now but it's still quite tricky isn't it yeah um, some of the words sometimes I can um, it's kind of hard to explain but some things like words I know and I can say and some like the next day I can't say so it's annoying because I know in my head I can say it and I can say it. it's just my mouth's not working but um yeah it's still difficult and just some of the words things like mum children like uh women children things like that I always it's hard to think what is the which yeah. yes, yes and uh, i always think i just can't yeah but people with aphasia are still intelligent it's yeah. just hard to express what they're thinking okay so the next thing we're doing is some reading yeah. so sarah hasn't seen this before but i'll just show you that as well first yes hang on hang on uh, yeah but i don't think it's gonna i think i can just pass it and then i'm gonna pass it to sarah and so you can have a look, that's fine. So, so you're going to read it out loud. Okay. 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 Yeah. I went, no, I went, yes. Oh, went. I went shopping yeah. in London today with my sister. Good. We we had uh, had a coffee. Uh, we had a coffee after afterwards. Afterwards, I buy bought. I <laughs> say okay. Some new shoes and a black. No blue. Dress. Mm. My, my dress was 
And that's mm. difficult because it's numbers yeah. and numbers are hard. So what number do you think that is? It's not a hundred. No. It's half of that. <laughs> 50, Fifty? Fifty. pounds. We went... Oh, no. We kept... Yes. Yeah. We kept... Came. Came. Home. Wait. Don't say. Okay. Bye. No. Yes, good. Bus. Yes. And. 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 I. Watched. Yeah. TV? Television. Television. Yeah. Well done. Good. Good. So that was kind of hard. Yeah. How did you find that? It was better than the first, the, uh, the, um, the poem. That was worse, but yeah. Okay. But reading a novel or writing an essay or something like that would be really quite hard for you now, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think just a sentence is still hard and that is, if there's more than one, one sentence, no, yeah, yeah. More than one then sentence. I feel like I just can't do it. Even though I can, but it's just hard and I need another person to, you know, to, um, some words that I don't know, but... Just to help you. So, yeah. what are you hoping to do this year, this summer? Well, I... I really, really, really want to go to America to do some very... I can't say... Very intensive. Expen well, <laughs> expensive and intensive. Well, it's expensive. <laughs> But yeah. It's, not, yeah. <coughs> the, it's speech therapy and it's intensive, which and, is something you can't get in England. And, be, yeah, because it's, I, because for me, I'm sure that other people um, think the same with me, that I like doing, like, doing lots of like it's I think it's better for me to do something that I'm doing it every day and I'm doing it all the time and then after that I'm not doing anything because I just can't do speech therapy one day a week and just it's too and then I it's not enough but and when you say don't do anything, you will still be doing it when you get I'm, home and, no, no, and no, living. I'm, no, 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 I'm not thinking about that because it's one um, month and that's it. So that's what I want to do because it's easier for me to do that instead of um, at England, you just do, if you're lucky, which I am, that... I can do speech therapy still, but it's, I don't like it. I would like to do something now that I can do one month, massive amount of what I, whatever that's hard for me. And then after that, I think it's going to be working and then I can just live my life and doing other things that are helping me. So put that into but, practice still. But because... But do it in one intensive yeah, burst. Because I think it's the best thing. So... It doesn't suit everybody because it's quite tiring because it's like long days, nine till four or nine till five. So it's lots of work for a month um, of intense concentrating on your speech and but your reading writing. I think it depends every person is different mm -hmm. 
um, and it depends how your brain is working now because if you're you had your stroke very soon after then maybe you're still very tired mm. and I, I'm still tired now but um, I think I can do it now um, so it depends but if it works which I think it will do um, we'll definitely want to um, talk about it here because there's lots of people who have aphasia here and I'm I'm embarrassed that there's nothing out there. Yeah. Yeah. But but I'm still raising the money. So if there's any other people want to um donate then please do. But um thank you so much, um um if you've already um and um, thank you and if there's any questions or any um yeah yeah just contact. get in touch yeah um is there anything else no i just wanted to say and you know it too that people can recover from aphasia years after a stroke or a head injury unless they have a type of aphasia which is called primary progressive aphasia which unfortunately means you get worse instead of better but in your case and for other people you can continue improving if you keep trying and keep living and be positive. You really want to get that message across, don't you? Yeah, and I think, yeah, I think positive is the most important thing. If you're happy and you can, you know, do something, go out, you're going to be happier and you're going to be much better. You need you need if you're happy your speech is going to be better and obviously whatever um obviously it's not just your speech but if you're writing reading yeah and stuff like that. but um because if you're not and if you're sad then you don't want to do anything and that's not good so um positive keep trying keep positive and um thank you so much bye